<gasps> Good morning, Olympus. Today is September 20th, and you're watching Oli TV. Seniors, so far there have not been very many entries to become a Sterling Scholar for Olympus High School this year. The deadline is quickly approaching. If you are interested in applying, contact a teacher or Mr. Jacobs in the Career Center. The application deadline is September 28th. Titans, if you are interested in showcasing your artistic abilities, enter into the National PTA Reflections Contest. This year's theme is, I am hopeful because, and you can enter in one of these seven categories. Film production, dance choreography, music composition, visual art 2D and visual art 3D, pho photography, and literature. All entries will be submitted digitally and need to be uploaded by October 20th. You could win some cash. Good luck, Titans. If you want to be a class officer for your freshman year, your class officer packet and fourth term report cards are due today, September 20th, immediately after school. Deliver the papers to room 261. Now on to sports and entertainment with Alan. Thank you, Lucas. Let's talk with, about sports. All right, so let's start off with high school sports. Olympus beat East 23 to 10 in a bounce back game from last week. Olympus will play Alta this Friday, so make sure to watch it on Oli TV if you can't make it. The Olympus mountain biking team raced on Saturday in Ridgefield. These are the names of those who finished top 10, and it's a huge list. I'm sorry if I butcher it. Congratulations to Xander Jensen, Sky Jaleps, Jane Brown, Jace Claris, Cole Chipping, Cassin Stevens, Colin De La Garza, Sienna Peterson, Eva Jalepsi, Preston Van Damme, Stella Jalepsi, Erica Parrish, Ava Anderson, Claire Wertham, Amy Van Deb, Celeste Pratt, Josie Patton, Caleb Carrier, William Nesbitt, Carter Kell, Zahir Zambrano, Spencer May, and Alex, Alex Linscott. Now, the men's golf team dominated at the Fox Hollow Golf Course with a negative four score with a total of 284 team points. The Titans were 23 strokes ahead of East and will hold another tournament soon. So make sure to st stay tuned in and maybe support our golf team. Women's tennis will today will hold a region tournament on September 20th and tomorrow, the 21st, at Brighton. Now, on to the NFL. The Commanders won against the Broncos in such a close game. The Broncos completed an improbable Hail Mary with no time on the clock. The ensuing two-point conversion to force overtime has some controversy whether the final play is considered pass interference. If you ask me, I'd say maybe, probably. More along with football, player Nick Chubb had a very serious knee injury during the game against the Steelers on Monday. Hopefully he recovers soon from his injury and is able to return to the team. Alongside this comes the unfortunate passing of Dale Mooney, a, Patriot, a Patriots fan. He died after hitting his head during a fight against a Dolphins fan. Wishes go out to the family of Dale as this should never happen, ever. On a lighter note, Movies releasing the rest of September are happening now, if you believe it. Saturday, we have the new Paw Patrol movie. Honestly, that's a real kicker. I'm excited for that one. Monday, we have The Tower and The Job of Songs. On Tuesday, we have Sniper Grit, The River Runs, and Dreaming Wild. On Wednesday, we got the wonderful story of Henry Sugar. And on Thursday, we have The Blind and Love is in the Air. On Friday, we have The Creator, The Kill Room, Saw X, a Halloween movie, and you should look out for that one because it might actually be interesting. Um, then we also have Nowhere, 50 second, 57 Seconds, Deliver Us, Flora and Son, Carlos, On Fire, She Came to Me, Dix, The Musical, Saturn, Saturn Bowling, Warrior Strong, Gen 5, and finally, The Re-Education of Molly Singer. Singer. Back to the desk. Thanks, Alan. Now let's go to Han with the weather. Um... Okay, so today we have a high of 83, and it is partly cloudy with a low of 57 with some gust. And then on Thursday, we have a high of 64 with a low of 49, and it is thunderstorms. And then on 
Friday, we have a high of 65 with a low of 46 with some showers. And then Saturday is a high of 70 with a low of 51 and it is completely sunny. Sunday is a high of 78 with low of 55 and it is also sunny. And then Monday is a high of 84 with a low of 59. It is mostly sunny. And then Tuesday, we have a high of 84 with a low of 55 and it is completely sunny. Okay, back to the desk. Thanks, Han, and thank you for watching Oli TV. Be sure to, do, to subscribe to our channel to get news and updates about and around Olympus. Don't forget, we will be live on Friday for the Olympus versus Alta football game. Have a great week, Titans.